is that reconstruction of the winches. Wow. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. They just were moved here. Where in the elevator could keep them, kept them rising up. But the question was, how? Okay. Sometimes schoolers have got the same height and position from the side. Yes. The same one. Yes. Because, yes, we know the elevators were risen up. Okay, and what happened? The line is not tight. No, there must be another. So, an inventor, an engineer working in the Colosseum, made a sort of little model. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a similar one. Because he says the top doors of the Colosseum were not going up, but they were going down, becoming a ramp. But if they go down, becoming a ramp, and actually, can you see your places of the going down? Huh? So, mm -hmm. if the ramps go down, huh? They need a system to block them, and then when they go up, they need to to keep all the gladiators and the, everything. So, so he made a little model. Mm -hmm. So, and then they of course realized it in a normal oh, direction. Nice. So they had put the cut tray and only full man turning, and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, this has been built, not inside the Colosseum, it's impossible. This has been built outside of the Colosseum. In 2015, with a grave, just image, there is a wonderful video, if you want to see it, 50 minutes video, in this Colosseum, the mortal trap, the, mort the, the death trap, where all the schoolers have put together their energy. Now, the mode that was transformed in a, in a realistic one, hmm? considering the sizes of the Colosseum. And then it was with a, you know, with a big crane, huh? it was put from the blue, blue sky of road inside the Colosseum. It's such a real emotion. Sure. Because just a mistake, everything would have disappeared. <laughs> Once they collocated it here, try no, because they tried to move the cage. Considering this is 700 kilos all oh. around. And the cage had to be suitable to transport a bear or a lion. Huh? Oh. So anyway, so in, and it's more or less 150. You see the cage there. So the engineers they started to move hmm? because you see, uh, just consider the men move ropes, and the ropes were fixed uh, to pulleys, hmm? and the pulleys. Uh, made the cage right up. So four of them was not enough. Eight of them not enough. So the problem was how did they do? Huh? Mm -hmm. So the engineer inventor, therefore I say the same eyes of a child. He said, you know why? You know what? You know. How did they do with the big seals? You know the ships. So he went to study the tools of the ships. And he discovered that they didn't have just one pulley with one rope, but a multiple system of pulleys. So to have this rising up, they needed 12 pulleys. Wow. And at the end of the video, they put a wall. Hmm? <laughs> to a forestal guard. Yes. Who adopt walls. <laughs> well, a wall was put in the cage and he could do the triumphal wow. With how many people? How many people can turn it? Eight. eight. You need here eight to turn in the system of 12 pulleys. So the weights must be subdivided into 12. Wow. And what I really found touching, the inventor saying, to understand how they were, we have to learn from them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our technology. I mean, we have to be humble and like children and to go really fast mm -hmm. to to appreciate. Mm -hmm. So also this is a marvel. Huh? Yes. You see one piece, so the cut stayed in the center and you see the round hole like the one we saw before. The eight men pulling and the cages. So uh, you see, ah, and the archaeologist, also the one great archaeologist, he spent months just drawing all the concave lines of the policy. So you see the concave lines. 